Uh, this baptism that we are getting ready to witness this morning is um, a young man by the name of Caden Sullivan. And Caden and his, his family, his, his mom, Michaela, and his dad, Herschel, uh, live in Woodbine, and they've been coming to our South Campus on Sunday nights. And a quick little story about their family, and, and you know, when we launched South, we were having services on Saturday nights. And at the beginning of the year after the revolution here in December, we moved our services from Saturday nights to Sunday nights. Well, when we moved to Sunday nights, Brian, the Sullivans were able to come. They couldn't come on Saturday nights, and I, I had no clue. I didn't know their family, didn't know the situation. We just knew we were going from Saturday nights to Sunday nights. And this family is one that has blessed us by that move because they were able to start coming on Sunday nights. They couldn't come on Saturday nights because of work situations and things. So little did we know, you know, God was, was moving there. And then um, a few weeks ago, Caden and the youth were over in our youth room, and Pastor Austin Brown is our youth pastor there. He was busy here with the men's league on Sundays and everything, and he couldn't be there. And he asked Michaela Day to fill, fill in for him that night, and she had planned on being there that night. But she got sick about 2 o'clock that afternoon, 2 or 3 o'clock. And so he messaged me, and he's like, hey, Pastor Larry, I'm so sorry. Michaela's not going to be able to make it. So I began to freak out a little bit. I prayed, and I sent a message to Amanda. And Amanda said, well, you know, we'll just we'll ask Ashley if she can teach the youth tonight. So that night, Pastor Austin wasn't there. Michaela wasn't there. But God sent the right one, and he, it wasn't anything that Ashley done or Carly done because Carly helped her that night. But God equipped them with what this young man needed that night. And he gave his heart to the Lord. So Caden is nine years old, and I told him, man, I need some of this hair. That's awesome hair. But... Caden, have you made a public confession? And, and, or do you want to make this public confession today that you have accepted Jesus Christ the way and the only way as your Savior? Yes. And on that public confession then, Caden, I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. And Caden, you, you might say, well, why didn't you have the baptism at Woodbine? And I asked his mom, and I, I said, you know, just let us know whenever he's ready to be baptized, we can do it there at Woodbine, or we can do it here at Lily. And a couple weeks ago, she said, because they talked to Pastor Ronnie here, and they said he wanted to do it at Lily. He wanted to do it here because he wanted as many people to see that he accepted Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. So Caden, you look out there. If you support Caden... Would you please stand to give him and the Lord a clap offering? Caden, look out there and look at how many people love you and support you in your decision. This is awesome. This is awesome. Okay, I get to dismiss also. So I get to baptize and dismiss. All right. And I get to preach tonight. First time in over a month that I get to preach at South. Looking forward to it. I challenge you to be there tonight at 6 